Hi everybody, this is Nick, and today I'm gonna to come to you with a video that shows you how to visualize your overall experience ratings for museum exhibits. Now, we love the overall experience rating. We have lots of videos about how to analyze these and visualize these. I'll link to some resources below, but this is a great uh, visitor experience measure that you could use on a visitor experience survey or some other uh, type of interview or survey that you're using in museums. One way that I love using it is to compare experiences across exhibits within uh, a single museum. So right here, I just have fictitious data from one of my very favorite museums in the world, the American Museum of Natural History in New York. And you can see here, I just took some of their exhibit names from their, from their websites. And this uh, by no means uh, tells you the exact experience that you would have in each of these uh, exhibits. But I wanted to show you sort of a technique that you could use to visualize these results in a way that's really engaging, very effective. And this is called the diverging stacked bar chart. So you can see we have uh, these kind of floating bars that sort of diverge here at this cut point. We have this middle cut point of all of our less than excellent ratings to the left, and then our excellent and outstanding ratings over here to the right. So this is going to be a really great chart type for you to use. You will feel like a pro. Uh, and I'm going to link to some resources below for other uh, data viz designers who have shared in blog posts and other things how to make these diverging stack bar charts in Excel and PowerPoint. I'm going to escape out of this slide, and we're going to make it from scratch. So I have this slide right here. This is a slide layout with a chart uh, or a content placeholder here. I'm gonna first work in Excel because the chances are you probably have your data uh, in Excel over here and this is what they look like. So I have my exhibits here and then I have each of the ratings here. This is a five point rating scale, poor, fair, good, excellent, and outstanding. Now what we need to do is transform some of these data so that we can uh, kind of create a staging area for what our chart is gonna look like. So the first thing that I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to, in column H, I'm going to go ahead and type uh, spacing. We're going to first, we need a spacing column. And then what I'm going to say is less than excellent. I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to transform some of these data here. I'm going to say excellent in this cell and outstanding in this cell. And then another spacing column here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just change the color here of the spacing column so that we know that these are spacers. And then right here, I'm gonna double click to make sure that all of our words are right there. Now in this less than excellent column, this is gonna be our group, uh, our grouped data from all of the poor, fair, and good ratings here because that's what I kind of uh, believe maybe are the more negative ratings on that side and then the more positive ratings on the other side we're gonna, um, we're going to visualize here. So in this less than excellent column, we're gonna say equal sum and then open the parentheses and then drag this right here. So we're gonna add the poor, fair, and good together. I'm going to go ahead and push enter. Now I'm going to drag this down. And you can see it gives us these little error carrots. There's no real error there, so I'm just going to say ignore the error. Now on excellent, I'm going to go ahead and just type the equals and then point to this excellent here. We're going to drag this down. And for outstanding, equals the outstanding rating here. We will drag this down. And now we need to take our spacing columns. So this, each of the spacing columns is going to be uh, one, which is 100%, minus a specific value that we have in the chart. So whatever your cut point is. So right here, I want my cut point to be at less than excellent. So we will just say equals one, and then minus whatever is in our less than excellent column there. Push enter. And then I'm going to drag this all down. And we'll just turn this blue so that we can see it. And then here on the spacing column, we want the excellent and outstanding to both be on the right. So it's going to be equals one minus, and then I'm going to type in the sum formula, open the parentheses, and then drag excellent and outstanding right there. Close the parentheses, and now that is 100% uh, minus the sum of excellent and outstanding, our top two box ratings there. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down. We'll turn that blue so we know it's there. All right, perfect. Now, the other thing that we want to do is I actually want to sort these so that they are... Um, uh, sort of that we can see this greatest to least uh, sort of mentality. And actually, I think I might do that um, after we insert the chart, just so that you can see what it's going to look like. So the first thing that I'm going to do here to insert the chart is I'm going to highlight my exhibit ratings, my exhibit uh, names right here. I'm going to hold down the control key, and I'm going to then highlight everything over in my transformed data range right there. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is insert a chart. So we're going to say insert. I'm going to insert the 2D 100% stacked bar. And here's my default chart. It looks just like this when it pops up on the screen. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to push Control uh, X to cut it out. And then we're going to go back to our PowerPoint slide, 
click on this chart placeholder here, if I can get it back. It looks like my mouse decided to get a little haywire on me. Oops, let's see. There it is. We're going to highlight the placeholder, push Control V to paste, and now my chart is pasted here into my PowerPoint deck. Now it's going to take, uh, this chart will take the colors of whatever you've embedded into your PowerPoint deck as your custom colors. We can do a few things to clean up this chart right away. Let's go ahead and get rid of the chart title. I don't need that. I'm going to move the legend up to the top. In this uh, video, we're just going to keep the legend, but I don't need the spacing, uh, the spacing series here. So I'm just going to go ahead and isolate that one there, push backspace or delete, and then I'm going to delete uh, the uh, uh, top spacing column as well. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and delete the grid lines, and I'm going to change the gap width so that the bars get really close together. We'll change this to 30%. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the spacing columns to no fill. So we will go to the paint bucket over here, say no fill, go to the top spacing column here, say no fill, and now you kind of see our chart is starting to take shape. You can see right here we have this diverging cut point here uh, at that 50% mark. Now the cool thing about this is if we have a lot of space here on the left, which is probably going to be your case in museums because most people have positive ratings, let's go ahead and just change the minimum on the axis to around 30%. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the axis, over here on the format axis menu, click, click on that bar chart icon, the minimum I'm going to change to 0.3 or 30 now you can see it uh, uh, pushes that chart just a little bit over to the left and to the right to really maximize the space that we have, but it's still proportionate to the data that we have. Now what I'm going to do is, you can see right here I have, uh, let's actually go ahead and just update some of the text. So I want the text to be much bigger because I'm going to present this on a PowerPoint slide. So let's put this up to 16 points. My legend I'm going to change to 16 points. And then we actually don't need, we're not going to need our x-axis here. But I do want to keep it because you can see right here that I have the y-axis line right here. And if you wanted to keep it there, you could. But one thing that I like to do is change that uh, y or change this y-axis line so that it becomes the diverging cut point. And since this is at 50%, we're going to highlight the x-axis here, go to the format axis menu, and right here under the vertical axis crosses, we're going to say a set axis value. And and then I'm going to go ahead and say 0.5. We want that axis line to show up at the 0.5 or 50% mark. Push Enter, and now you can see the axis line changes, but so do the labels. They kind of overlap those bars. So click on the labels here, and now in the format axis line right there, under the label menu, instead of next to axis, we are going to say low. And that's going to put it outside uh, of the chart area on the bottom end of the chart, outside of that plot area. Pretty cool. Now, let's click out here to look at it. Now, I want this axis line to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead, and we will format that axis line over here. I'm going to say the line. Let's make it a darker gray. That's nice. And then maybe increase the weight to three points. That looks good. And now you can see that uh, cut point is really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and delete my uh, x-axis. We don't need that anymore. Now, the thing that I want to do is this would be a great way to visualize these data but what I think is more helpful is if we can sort these data uh, more intentionally. And that's what all the data viz experts will tell you. We want to be able to sort data intentionally so that our viewer, our reader, can really understand what is the highest rated exhibit and what is the lowest uh, rated exhibit kind of at a glance. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and right click the chart and say edit data. That's going to open back up our data source right here. What I'm going to do is create another calculated field right here called top two. So what I'm going to do is do equal sum, and then we're going to sum together the excellence and outstandings, close the parentheses, and then this column right here is kind of our helper column. It gives us the percentage of the top two box ratings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the entire lot of data here. So I'm going to go all the way over to column A, go all the way over to the data that we've created. I'm going to go to the data tab, insert a filter, so that now each of the columns can be filtered. And under uh, this top two, we're going to sort it from smallest to largest. So go ahead and sort your data from smallest to largest. You can see it, it updates there. Let's go ahead and go back to our PowerPoint slide now and see what it looks like. There, perfect. So the data is now sorted intentionally. So the blue whale model was the highest rated exhibit, and the butterfly vivarium was the lowest rated exhibit. I can't really imagine that to, be hap to happen in real life. Remember, these are fictitious data. 
So now what we're gonna do is just edit the chart a little bit, customize it, and make it a little stylized and add some direct labels. So for a diverging palette like this, I, let you, I just like to have the most negative uh, grouping be kind of a darker gray color. So I'm gonna update that to gray. We're gonna keep this blue here. And then for this uh, top box, the outstanding, I'm gonna make it a little bit of a darker blue on that same palette right there. It looks really nice. Now let's add some data labels. Right click on the series, say add data label. And then I'm gonna increase this maybe to 14 points. And then we're gonna turn it white. And then for a diverging chart like this, I like the labels not to be positioned in the middle of the uh, of the bar series, of the bar chunks, because I think that makes things look a little bit more cluttered. And since it's diverging, I want the labels to be all the way over to the right or all the way over to the left. So what you need to do there, under the Format Data Label menu, let's change the label position from center to inside end. And then we'll do the same thing for this. We're gonna add the labels. Let's turn it white, change it to 14 points. And under the label position, we're gonna say inside end. And then we will add labels to our final less than excellence, turn it white, update it to 14 points, and we're going to say again inside end. Oh, and as you can see, if inside end, that push, push, pushes it over to the right, we want it to be left. So in this case, we're going to say inside base. And now that looks really, really good. Now if I want to kind of add, uh, move the legend a little bit so that these legend categories are a little bit more over the data that they're showing. The other thing you could do is delete this legend and you could create your own legend by adding text boxes on top of uh, those uh, series of data here. But you can see right there, that looks like a really nice, beautiful diverging stacked bar chart, the perfect way to visualize your overall experience ratings, especially great for places like museums when you are comparing different experiences to each other on that same overall experience rating measure. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified every time I post a new video in data design, usually PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. Had a great time making this for you. I hope you had a great time watching. Let me know how you use this in the comments and I can't wait to see you all next time.